right, we're up here on one of my other regular mountain trails. And uh, last time I was up here, I saw a little side trail that I'm going to go ahead and explore today. But first, I'm going to take this trail down to the end and then turn around and come back and check out one of them side trails and see what we can find. And get it all on video. So, you know, whatever happens up here, you guys are with me. So, I'll come back in a little bit and we'll check that trail out. Okay, we've been coming down a little bit of a hill here. And what I do is I go all the way down to the bottom. Down here, turn around and come back up. Um, I was hoping that it would be sunny enough for y'all to see what, one of the reasons I like it. Because you come down here, there's a clearing, and then on a nice summer day, you just got bright sunshine down here at the bottom. And uh, I just like to hang out there for a little while. And then head on back up the hill. Get me some vitamin D synthesized while I'm here. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to head on down to the bottom. If the sun comes back out, I'll switch the camera on. But just looking around, the way it clears out down here. You can probably pretty well imagine how sunny it gets. I was thinking about bringing a towel down here one day and just laying out for a little while to soak in some rays. Maybe bring a couple cold beers, I don't know. Okay, we made it to the top of the hill. And uh, up here, My wife and I have actually been camping here before. There was enough room to set up our big old tent. Although, this wasn't there at the time. But you can see our fire ring back here in the shade. And we'd set up our, uh, our sling chairs and cooler and cook hot dogs and stuff. Actually, we might just do that just for the heck of it. Not necessarily camping. You know, just bring stuff up here. Sit back, relax. Have a little campfire. Of course, got to clear all them leaves and stuff away. But there's plenty of deadfall. And the, uh, the trail that I'm taking you to today, I always thought it was just another campground, campsite. Because hunters do come up here. Mostly during um, spring turkey season. And they go hunting up here. But there's another campsite. Just on the other side of this hill here. Campsite. I'll show you that. We'll get a little closer in a minute. Now normally, I don't have this on. Um, this is basically my camera bag so when I'm taking a video or something up here in the mountains I got to carry the camera in something I don't want to just carry it around in my hand so I tuck it in the bag pull it out every now and then and get some video this, it, this is just basically like a hip sack and I wear it across my shoulder because I don't like it banging on my bit anyway let's take a look at this campsite here and I'll show you uh, show you the trail let's see if you can find it That's the trail we came off of, so that's definitely not it. Uh, I don't see anything over there. I'm going to pan across. There's a fire ring somebody left.
I've passed by here so many times without seeing the trail. Till one day, I happen to look over here. And this looks like a trail. So, um, I'm going to explore this trail, see how far it goes. Might just be a little ways, might be a long ways. Might have to make this video in two or three parts, I don't know. But let's go explore and see what we can find. Now I can tell there's been people through here. I don't know how well you can see this, but um, you see the leaves on that side and that side. And then they're all crushed going down the middle so there's definitely been people through here since last fall probably hunters come down through here in the spring and like i said it's a uh, early spring uh well springtime turkey season so this is probably a trail that hunters use i can see some footy prints through here Now judging from the stick, you can see there's no crushed leaves around it. That stick has fallen since the last time people have been through here. So that gives you an idea of how often this trail is actually used. We'll keep going, see where it goes. Who knows? There's some more crushed leaves there. Who knows what we find? And here you go, definite sign of civilization, a broken plastic spoon. So I guess that names this trail, I'm going to call it Broken Spoon Trail. Let's take a look back, and you can see that, looks like it looks like at one time it was a, uh, a dirt road that came up through here, one time a long time ago. But we're still going down, it's been going downhill for a little while. Pretty much just walk in the park. Nice easy trail. It means it's going to be a nice uphill on the way back. Look at what I found. It looks like a side trail off the side trail. Let's just go in a little ways and see what we can see. Okay, look at the back trail. Okay, got it? Make sure you remember where we're coming from. Always check your back trail. X marks the spot. Remember that too. Ooh, it looks like this one goes on for a little while too. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to come back and check this one out sometime. But for now, I still want to see what's on this other trail. Now since we checked our back trail, and we, we remember this little landmark here, we got X marks the spot. And we know what our back trail looks like. So if we go further in, and we keep checking, and picking out landmarks, It'll be harder to get lost. Okay, let's see which way am I going? This way. Well, let me continue on down and see what I find on that one. And this trail here will be uh, a trail for some other time. Looks like we're approaching the end of the trail. There's a big tree across it up there. I'll see if I can get around it, or past it, or over it, or whatever. But it's not looking very promising because um, it looks like a berm. Looks like this has been closed off for some reason. Let's go up here and take a look. As if this was all done on purpose to close off this road. 
Yeah, this looks pretty much like it. I guess I could go around that way. But oh, here comes the sun, yeah. Let's take a look over here and see what we can find. Kind of goes down there. Well, let's go down there a little way and see what we find. Looks like a couple of people have been through there. Oh, this is getting steep. I'm glad I got my new knobbies. Hey, there's a gate over there. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's old bent up yellow gate. Let's zoom it in a little bit. Can you see that? So it looks to me like this has definitely been closed off. Like that was some kind of an access road we were on. And uh, hunters would continue up through here. Oh, there's a big clearing up there. Let's check it out. Oh my. Now we're getting into some sunshine here. Yeah, I'm gonna check myself for ticks. But here comes the sun. It continues on through. I'm going to turn around here. And start heading on back. Because as far as I'm concerned. That was a successful exploit. Whoa. Almost stumbled. Successful exploration. Oh man. I don't want to do that back here. People, people might not find me until next spring. Hey, we're coming up to the gate. Let's check this out. Doesn't look like there's really much of anything else here. The road might have just continued that way. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I want to go that way. So let's take a look around. Get our landmarks straight. There's a big sunny spot there. And it looks like the road continues this way. Okay. Hmm. Meets up with that gate. Then continues this way. Well. I'm going to go up this way. And go around that tree. And I'll see y'all on the other side. Bushwhack my way on around. And I'm back. Where that down tree and that berm is. So. Guys, if you're going to go out exploring in the woods, pay attention to where you're going. Check your back trail often. Look for any kind of a landmark. And, uh, you know, check your watch, check what time it is, and the angle of the sun. Because that will help, help you uh, find your way too. But be observant. Look at where you're going. Look at where you've been. Look at where you could go. So... Basically, be careful if you're gonna go exploring in the woods. Because if I get lost out here, you know, they might not find me till next spring. But I feel reasonably sure I'll be able to find my way out if I do. So um, we're gonna head on back now. Oh, and look at this! Found myself a nice sunny spot. Should have figured. It looks sun baked. You can see where the lichens are and where they end, where they are and where they end. 
up into this clear area where the sunlight's just shining. I might have to pack a small backpack and bring it up here. Throw a towel, throw a towel down and just soak up some rays for a while. There's our trail. It's, it's right on the side of the trail. That's where we've been. We went down, we turned around, we're coming back up that way. And we're going to be headed that way. But right now, I'm thinking I might spend a little bit of time here. Okay. We're back up to that other side trail. I'm going to go in a little ways. Check it out. It's a very clearly marked trail. X marked spot again. I don't see too much evidence of foot traffic up here. You know, other than the raised area in the middle. But still, yeah, there's been a few people. Yeah, there's been a few people down here. But still, I'm going to go check it out. Here we go. Here's a spot we can take a look at. Let's see now. Which way, which way to go, George? They went around this way yeah okay yeah you can see lots of evidence that there have definitely been people down here probably hunters yeah that's been stepped on a lot so we're gonna go a little further check it out see what we can find it's looking sunny up there. I want to check that out. If I can find myself a big, beautiful clearing to hang out in. Okay, I'm a little ways in. And honestly, I'm not going to go beyond this point. I'm going to uh, come back at a later time and bring some supplies. You know, like compass. Stuff like that. Maybe a water bottle. Power bar. Um, I do intend to explore it further. In fact, i tell you what, let me just do a line of sight here. I'm just going to go up a little bit further. Oh, watch out for the bees. I'm not allergic to them, but still, I don't want to get stung. And if you're wondering... No, I don't get poison ivy or poison oak. I don't use sunblock. And I don't generally use insect repellent. Yeah, it really gets uh, it's really overgrown here. Let's take a look back. And you can see it's getting harder to see where the trail is. And I do not want to risk wandering around lost. The sun is straight up right now, so it doesn't really help me at all. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this later. Let's start heading on back. I picked that tree over there as a landmark, as a uh, trail side landmark, because I can actually see that from quite a ways away. You know, as long as I keep that in sight, I know I'm close to the trail. But anyway, like I said, all right, I'm back. almost back to the trail. X marks the spot, and uh, there's that down tree over there. That's the way I came up, and. That's the way I'm going. Well, actually, this isn't what I would, I guess you can call the, the main trail, because this here is a side trail off the main trail, the one I call Broken Spoon Trail, and that'll take me back up to the main trail. And then, uh, and then back to the truck we go. Well, we're back just about to the main trail. You can see over here, There's that fire ring and this little camping area. And 
And right up here, we're back to the main trail. Now I'm just going to keep going. And uh, I'll meet y'all back at the truck. If I see something interesting on the way, I'll turn the camera on. But uh, pretty much, we're back on the main trail. It's a trail in the woods. And I've been on it a lot. That was a surprise me when I saw that side trail over there. I was like, I gotta check that out. And we did. And I brought y'all along with me. And uh, I'll see y'all back at the truck. All right, we made it back to the truck. Now I'm gonna go on home, get this edited, and get it uploaded. And we'll see you next time. I don't know what it's going to be, hiking or biking or what, but, you know, we'll be back. Looks like some people out there enjoying the weather. Now, my battery's about dead, so I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know if you can see them out there, but it's a beautiful day today. Well, like I said, I'm going to go on home, get this edited, and get it out to you.